My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can synchronize content across multiple breakout rooms in Adobe Connect. To do that, let's go to the breakout room view in the attendees list. Here I can see any of the breakout rooms that I've got in Adobe Connect. I've never started breakout rooms in this particular room, so when I first begin breakouts, they'll take on the look and the feel of my active layout. And this layout is set up for my exercise. I've got an image here at the top. I've got some instructions in a notepad. And then below that, I've got two additional notepads that I want my learners to use to add advantages and disadvantages as part of the exercise. So I'm going to begin here by just getting rid of breakout three. I only need two breakouts. And we'll start the breakouts, which will create these breakout rooms for the first time. My participants, as you can see, are still up here in the main room until I distribute or assign them to a breakout. I'm going to go and visit breakout room one, though. And you'll notice that although I've got most of the same content, I've lost the instructions that were part of that active layout. That's because when we begin breakout rooms, we create separate instances of each of the pods that were on that active layout. So these are not the same pods. They're separate instances. That's so that the people typing in this notepad will not have their content shown to participants in a different breakout room. It's very much by design. If I want that content to be synchronized, I can remove this breakout one version of the notes pod by going up to the pods menu and selecting hide. And then from the pods menu, choosing notes and instructions, which is where I had the instructions in the notepad on the main room. This won't only show the instructions to the folks in breakout room one, but this notepad is synchronized. So if I make any changes to the instructions, everybody in breakout room one will see those changes happening in real time. You can also just rename the notepads here. And I'll go to breakout room two and do the same thing. This not only works with content like notes, but with any content from an Adobe Connect room. For example, if I want to include a bell that people can ring when, they're complete their, when they've completed their exercise, I can add that from the main room into the breakout and have that synchronized so that folks in breakout room one will have the same bell and folks in the main room can also use that same bell so that we can hear when everybody's ready to come back into the main room. Let's go back into the main room and I'll add that same bell to my main layout. Now I can update the instructions and that update will affect everybody in breakout room one and breakout room two. That's a quick look at having content be synchronized across multiple breakout rooms along with your main room in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.